April. This is a Wednesday release supporter file, and I've got extra pieces here. Don't mind that. Um, I'm going to leave some of those in the file for you guys so that you can decide too. Uh, I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to decorate this box. This is a box that's been around for a while, but I've never released it, so I thought maybe some of you may not have seen it or may not have it, and you may want it. But it's called, um, oh, what do they call it? Impossible box, I think that's what they call it. Uh, or self-closed box, something like that. But when you pull up on the top, it's a one-piece box, and it opens up so you can throw in your chocolates, whatever your little goodies are going to be, and then it closes up on itself, okay? So when you press it down, pull it up, it opens, press it down, it closes, okay? Super fun, super easy, super simple, and quick. So you're going to start, and I'm going to start by folding all of my vertical folds. I'm going to start with those. And then I'm going to come back here on just the top ones, and I'm going to fold those the other way. I'm going to kind of create a memory for those. You don't have to fold the bottoms, but just that top. We want those folded in both directions. And you can do this tab here as well. Now that tab is off. You can see just a little bit. It doesn't fold right up to this line, and there's a reason for that. So make sure that you fold it on its score, giving it that little bit of space. You're going to need that. Then you can fold this one as well. But this one you can fold back both ways just to give it a little memory as well. And that will help you later. Then there's a score down through the center of these. And you can start by folding that towards you and then fold it back away from you and then you can fold it back. You want a little bit of a memory there. And then there's a score right here at the edge of these. Just pinch those, get them started one at a time so it makes it easier to fold. And then we're going to Give that a rub, and you can you don't need to fold that but one way either, that will be fine. And then the bottoms, you're gonna fold that all in, and I haven't made this box in years, so hopefully I fold that top right. The first one I did, this is my second one. The first one I did, I folded my top back wrong and I ripped it when I was trying to fix it. So you're going to fold this towards you. Okay, just like that. And it has to be towards you, okay? Make sure that you fold that band back and it is facing the front of your box. Then you can flip it over. You want to leave it that way and fold this tab in, okay? So that you've got like a band at the top here. And it's a square box, so we're going to put some glue right here on this tab while it's folded that way. And this tab only, do not do the, anything with that tab yet, or you'll be in trouble later. And then we're going to take this one side here, and we're just going to fold that over. Okay. Give it a rub. Should meet up, should line up just fine because it is square. Just make sure if you've got any glue squishing out, you're not gluing to the inside of your box. And I'm fine. I'm just going to give that a second to grab. And while that's uh, drying so that we don't pop it apart, we're going to go ahead and put our panels on. And these panels do not go all the way to the top. Okay? You just want to line these up around. You can see your score here at the bottom. You may not be able to see it on camera, but you'll be able to see it in person. And you're going to put some glue on these panels. And we're just going to place those on, get those squared up, I may have that one too high, I'll pull my score line up so I can see, looks good, 
And then we're just going to, those blue mats make all my pieces kind of stick, which can be good in a way. And we're just going to keep lining those panels up. And then I'm just going to squish my box so that I and give that a pinch if you need to. It's not going to hurt anything. And I got this holographic paper. I don't know. It's been a while from Michaels, and I just thought I would go ahead and use it since I had it in my stash. I did some spring cleaning, and I'm like, ah, I've got one sheet of it. Let me just use it for my little Easter boxes. And I'm just folding those panels back just so that I can keep them all lined up. And you can do it before you glue that other tab to make the box square. It's totally up to you. I just find it easier to work this way in the little space on camera to do it this way. And then we're going to put these panels at the top. Come here, you sticky little devil. Oh yeah. Got some glue on there. I don't want that on there. I'm using art glitter glue for those of you who don't know. You can get that at artglitter.com. It does not have any um, glitter in it. It dries matte. It dries clear. So if you got a shiny surface like this, you don't want to get it on there. And this is going to be covered. I wouldn't normally use glue on a holographic paper like this because it will kind of give those bubbles and you can see the trails of the glue in it. If that's your top panel, you don't want to do that. But since I have another panel going on top of it, it won't matter. If you're not putting a panel on top of your holographic, you'll want to use A. I think Stampin' Ups is called Fast Fuse. This is a close to my heart. It's the Nouveau, or this is the Nouveau. Close to my heart has one as well. Um, they call them snails, all sorts of things. But you can find those everywhere. And that's what you want to use on the back of any of your foil stuff, foil card stocks. The moisture and the glue just does something weird to some of them sometimes. I think I got that one a little crooked, but I'm going to live with it. So I've got those panels on. And now I am going to place these decorative panels on top. I know I'm covering up some of that holographic, but it's going to be pretty. I'm just going to place those panels right on the top. And if you're using a holographic, be careful. It takes a little while longer for your art glitter to grab onto those than it does on grabbing on regular cardstock. You don't want your panels to slide and be off. I'm just going to give those a second to dry there. I still haven't decided how I want to do the bunny on this. We're going to figure it out together. How pretty. This is this paper here is called confetti. I've had this for a while too. You may or may not be able to find it. It's die cuts with a view. I did get this at Michael's, but die cuts with a view can be bought in several places. Um, but it's called confetti. And it was just such a cute paper. I wanted to use the dots out of it. it, it that stack has a lot of cute paper in it. Use what you have. Cricut has some really pretty papers out too, so check those. I'm just going to keep flipping it over and 
lining up our pieces. And I'm not going to do my bunny yet because I just don't know until I get the box put together where that needs to land. So I'm going to give those a second to dry while I do the bottom. Now this opening is what I call the back. Most call that the back. So I'm going to fold in the side tabs first. Now you can glue these or not glue these depending on what you want to put in them. I glue mine no matter what I put in them. And I'm just gluing the sides. I've got that open tab back there and I'm gluing the sides down. Then I am going to glue that last side panel and then the one that's on that back tab where it's open, that one goes back. And then this top, this last one. And that's so you don't have any seams on the front of your box there, okay? And then I'm just gonna turn it over and I'm gonna take my bone folder and go in and just rub it down. Give that time to grab. I think all of my panels are on. Hopefully none of them shifted. I either That one either shifted or I got it off just a little bit. But I'm going to live with it. So now I've got those. You want this tab to fold back under this tab. Okay? It's going to go right in there. You're not going to put it behind this one. Okay? It's going to go inside that channel right there but before you do it close your box okay just like so and depending on what paper you use this gap may be a little bit um, looser than others but it'll be okay nobody's gonna notice it's gonna be such a cute box so with the in that channel I'm just gonna go in and I'm just gonna put just I'm gonna try a little dab of glue in there not much you don't want it to squish out and glue your tab to the lid but just enough to where I know where it's supposed to be and then I'm going to pull up on my lid okay and that tells me where my glue is and I'm just gonna glue that I'm just gonna hold it you can pinch it from the inside just like that but it's not going to meet up perfectly. If it does, your lid's going to be super, super, super tight. Okay? Just saying it's not going to give as much play. So there is a little bit off on that corner, and it's okay for this box. Just going to give that a second to grab. And I'm going to press it down. You can see I don't want it to grab too tightly. So if it pops loose, you want to do this step and see if it's going to pop loose and, and then hold it and give it time to dry. The reason I pull it back out and then pop it back down is if I've got any glue that's squished, I don't want it gluing anything together. We're just going to give that a second to dry and we're going to play with our bunny. So now I'm going to put that on the front. So now I've got my little bunny over here and I want... I think I just want to do it this way. That's so cute. I, what I was going to do is put him up higher, and I still haven't decided. And then put Happy Easter down here, and that way, when the lid comes open, let's just try it. I'm going to hold him there. Then the bunny ears are up here, and you can see his tail. I think I like that, and then I'm just going to do a circle and put Happy Easter on that. <gasps> how stinking cute. Now, of course, you could do it this way, too. Totally up to you how you want to do your bunny. I do have some extra bunny tails and stuff in there and where I did them if you want to do, and I might do that, like the chocolate bunny with this butt bitten off. 
I'm going to leave that in there and then you can put the tail up here if you want. So when it's closed, you see the bunny tail. Now that's super cute too. <gasps> oh man, I can't decide. I think I'm going with the bitten bunny tail, but you guys can do whatever you want on yours. Um, that's just stinking cute. You want to be careful. You don't want to get too much in here because that lid's going to be tight as it is. And you don't want it to interfere. Okay? So no pop-ups or anything like that. I'm going with it. Where's the back? Now I've lost the back. See, I told you it would blend in. There's the back. So even though you have that little corner, it's going to blend in. So this is the front. I'm going to make sure it's closed completely and I'm just gonna put his butt right there so I'm gonna take just a pencil mark and just put a dot there so I know where I want his little hiney to end if I can still see my pencil mark yeah there it is and I'm just gonna put some glue on there make sure you get those edges if you're doing this because if they hang up it's going to mess up your lid. Oh, how cute would it be to put ouch right there with your Cricut. Have it write it. Let me measure that for you guys in case you want to do that. I'm going to give you a guesstimation here. It's the best I can do. Um, the box is three inches, so I'm going to say between the two and a half and three inch mark before you get to the score line. So right in here, we'll be fine. How stinking cute is that? Now this one I can pop dot up, and I'm going to just for fun why not I might do two thin dots on this one oops I left it on there it, wrong sign there we go Let's pull that release liner off and line it up so I have two or you can use a thicker dot if you want. And I'm just going to spin this around. Oh, how cute. And it's bitten his tail off. That's cute. I should have done it in a chocolate bunny. Guys, there's so many things you can do with this file. And I will leave both of them in there uh, with the bunny heads. If you want to even put the head up here, you can. Um... I don't think it needs it, but if you want to put it down here and then put your bunny ears on the on the box, let me just flip it over. If you want to put put it like that on your box, see it looks better like that, but you can't do that with the lid unless you pop dot. You could pop dot this up, putting it low, and then put the head flush. That way the head goes down behind it. I'll put one on the back just so you can see just for tutorial purposes just to see if it works so that you guys don't waste I'm putting that down low and I'm gonna do two or either use a thicker dot if you have them oops didn't get my dot Got the wrong one, I think. There we go. There we go. So we're going to bring this down low. Like that. Now he's popped up. And then we can put this flat. Now that's stinking cute, too. Just going to put some glue on the top of his ears only. A 
adorable. So two ways to do it, guys. And I'm showing you both ways. And if you do it this way, you're going to need a happy Easter banner maybe right here. And I think I've got one. I'm just going to cut this one down and use it and pop dot it up and put happy Easter on it. But super simple, super easy. Can't wait to see what you guys do. I will take some photos after I do my happy Easter on one of these and show you the final project. And I will show it on both sides. That way you can do it either way. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You guys have a wonderful day and I will catch you on the next video. Happy crafting!